Hello viewers, I am Will Keith, and I am here in Virtual Reality Minecraft. Now, I've been wanting to make a video in here for quite a while, but um, I've tried a few updates of this. This is technically called Vivecraft. It's a VR mod for the Java version of Minecraft on PC. Um, I've tried it a few times with every update that comes out pretty much, but the problem was that the locomotion, the um, character movement, just like had issues, and it still has issues, but I think it's at the point right now where it's really time for me to jump in here and really start having a go with this. So I've been playing this map for maybe like 20 minutes now. I just have a little wooden hut right there. Uh, I'll show what these are for, for in a little bit. I don't have much. I had some real tools, but um, they got destroyed when I died and I couldn't find the stuff. And then I rage quit. But um, I'm set up next to the base of a mountain over here. And what I'm doing is I'm going to gather wood so I can build a nice wooden house. Now, uh, what am I doing here? I have stone. I'm going to make myself a couple of axes. I have the difficulty set on peaceful, which uh, most people would consider a pussy move, and technically I consider it that too, but the thing is I'm still getting used to the virtual reality controls, I don't want to risk losing anything because of just not knowing the controls, so until I really have it down, I'm keeping the enemies out of the way, so I'm going to go gather some wood, I hope we get done building a house within this video. Um, now you see I'm moving forward here, and this is actually a really cool movement option that was added somewhat recently called, uh, run in place. And pretty much how it works is I'm just standing in one place and just kind of walking, and my character is walking with me. It, uh, takes a little bit of focus because if I just, like, subconsciously hold my hands really stiff, it doesn't register. But if they're just kind of swinging naturally, like I'm walking, it will move me around. And now to mine, you actually gather stuff manually. See, you hit it, and it becomes more damaged. And there you go. To gather blocks that are out of reach, you can just kind of point at it, and pull the trigger and do it the lazy way. But I find it a hell of a lot more fun to actually gather what I can reach manually. It's a big accomplishment building even a small house and you have to gather every bit of stuff like physically hitting it. Ah, that's a wall. Okay. I had to uh, turn down the visual settings because I've tried making this video like six times today, but it uh, kept uh, crashing because my PC is terrible and can barely run this, even not in virtual reality. Um, now that's an exaggeration, but yeah, my computer isn't all that good for this, so I had to kind of turn the, the uh, view distance way down, so what I can see is extremely limited and I just hope I don't get too far away and lose sight of the uh, mountain where my little dirt shack is. I don't have any weapons, no armor, I don't have any food. I might have a little bit of food at home in my chest, I don't know. I'm still getting used to the movement, as I said, it's still not perfect, it doesn't detect quite as accurately as it could, I think. Did I just accidentally kill a sheep? I just accidentally killed a sheep. That's okay. Now I'm gonna go over here and not accidentally kill a sheep. This time I'm going to kill the sheep on purpose. Why is it only taking one hit to kill the sheep? Even with the sword, it takes two or three. Do axes do more damage now? 
I haven't played Minecraft in a really long time. I don't really know what the changes have been. And eh, he dodged it. Come back here. Huh, the axe one hit sheep. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe they have less health because I'm playing on Peaceful. I've never really played on Peaceful, only on Normal, Hard, or Creative. What I want to do in Creative because I want to actually gather the stuff. That's how the fun is in VR. Huh? Well, at least I started that out. So, if I follow the river, yeah, I got my posts there. I don't want to lose sight of that. That's guiding me home. Don't have a compass or anything. Mm, let me in here. Alright, sorry about that. I uh, have to make a cut there. There was an interruption. Alright, continuing on. Oh shit, I'm lost. Ah, oh, fuck. Where was I going? Here we go. I'm getting the uh, Vive cable all tangled up in my feet. Gotta learn how to rotate in the other directions. Alright, so my tower should be spawning in there in a second, I hope. Yeah, there they are. Alright. Now, uh, let me show you something else really cool here. You can jump in the water. And to swim, all you have to do is swim. I'm not holding any buttons to move me. All it is, is the motions of my own arms. You can do the, uh, breaststroke. You can swim like this, but that's way slower, I think. Either that or just I'm not doing it right. This seems to be the uh, fastest method for swimming. You can swim down. Hi, squid. You can swim up. There we go. Oh, that's so neat. I'm gonna go gather wood over there. I can see my uh see my posts. I feel so bad for people who get motion sickness from this kind of thing. This is so fun. It's really like I'm in another world. And it's kind of weird walking in place without actually like walking forwards. Once I get used to it, it really just feels like I'm walking around inside Minecraft with my own body. I'm like walking like all um dramatically to kind of keep the uh controllers from thinking that they're staying in one place i just hope that the video isn't like wobbling back and forth when i'm walking because i'll look bad and most of my videos look bad but uh at least i try a little bit <laughs> I'm also afraid to hit blocks that are on the ground because it's going to smash the controller into the floor. With tools, it's usually alright. Like, see, the tool goes past my hand. Right where they're touching is where the controller ends. So, when I have a tool that goes past it, you can hit the ground without actually hitting the controller. How much wood have I got? Not much. I'm on a regular 
regular computer, I would have like, um, like five stacks of this shit already, but, um, that's fun, you know? Feels really rewarding to get stuff done in this. Oh, wait. Sorry. Fucking cow. I think I'm just gonna gather the trees around here and then head home and see what I can do. It really looks amazing in here too. Like, I know, and the video just cut off. Hang on, I'll fix this. One moment. Alright, I'm back. I apologize for that. I am having a uh, large amount of technical difficulties that I'm really hoping start out soon rather than later. Uh, this kind of stuff never happened before this update. So I don't know if it's the update or if it's because I'm trying to record it, but Steam VR keeps shutting down by itself. Uh, sometimes the game just starts going at like 10 frames per second. For some reason, I can't even see it in the Vive. But um, there's a lot of general fuckiness going on, and I don't like it. But anyway, oh, hey, there's one of these things that I set up here a while ago. Um, I'm just gonna get on with it. I think I have, um, a decent amount of wood that I can use to build a small shack. So I'll just grab a little bit more. Some of these. Yeah, I'm gonna gather some birch wood. I want it for, um, the four corners of the house. I just hope the game stays running long enough for me to get this done. It seems to kind of work 10 minutes at a time before it crashes. I've contacted the developer, but I don't know if it's um, anything he's going to be able to fix or if it's just because my computer is too bad. I have the settings turned as low as they can go for Minecraft. What happened? Oh, my axe broke. Out of the axe broke, that means that I should have enough wood. I'm getting lazy. Nope, there we go. Rather than getting lazy, I'm just kind of pissed off that the game keeps crashing on me because, like, I know you guys are only seeing like 15 minutes of video, but I've been struggling with this all day long and it keeps crashing. I keep resetting the video. I've started this at least five times today starting this video just have a crash on me and have to start the whole thing again so all right night time is coming and since this is unpeaceful i probably shouldn't worry about that i guess <laughs> so i'm going back here following my towers sneaking on a sheep still not hungry i don't know if you get hungry on peaceful My controllers are saying low battery, but they should be good for like an hour like that, so I should be good to finish this video if it actually finishes. Got some uh, cool stuff I want to show you after I sleep and get daytime back. You see this uh, red thing at the end of the action bar there? That is something really, really cool. And pretty much the whole reason they finally caved and started playing Minecraft in VR. I've been kind of dreaming about this kind of thing in Minecraft, like for ages, but I never thought it would actually be brought to virtual reality. When I saw it on the subreddit yesterday, it was a complete surprise. Like, fucking five year long fantasy coming through, coming true here in Minecraft. 
Alright, so I'm just gonna sleep and get daytime. Alright. So, I am going to climb this mountain. And in Minecraft, climbing said mountain would usually entail either building ladders or just stacking blocks until you climb all the way up, or um, just digging a staircase into the mountain. But with this magical red device at the end of my action bar, I don't need to do any of that. For I can actually reach up and climb the mountain like I am in Assassin's Creed. Just reach and click and scale and it pulls me right up. I reach up here. Climb on two sides at once. It's uh, very, very accurate. And very, very fun. I don't know if any of you know of a video game called Cube World. I'm not going to get involved with any of the controversy, but long story short. Uh, 2012, Guy releases a really good game called Cube World. It's uh, voxel-based. Really nice adventuring, kind of a combination of Minecraft, Legend of Zelda, free roaming type deal. And then he never updates it again. And he's still working on this update. He keeps tweeting about it. But I'm ranting. I said I wasn't going to rant, but I'm starting to rant. Long story short, once again, Cube World had climbing in it where you could just climb up anything. And it was really, really fun. And I've been wanting it in Minecraft since I've seen that. And now it's finally in Minecraft. There was a mod for a regular Minecraft, not in VR, that um, let you climb stuff, but it had limitations. Like, for example, in Assassin's Creed, actually, you need, like, ledges and things to pull yourself up on. But with this, you can just climb any surface because you have a claw. You know, the idea is you stick the claw in there and you can climb up, like climbing tools. So, I was going to build my house up here on top of the mountain. So that is what I'm going to do. Take the wood. Get me some more woods. I can't uh, speed craft like you can on the uh, PC with this. If there is a way, I haven't figured it out yet. So you got to click each thing individually. Here we go. I'm going to leave these here for now. I'm going to keep my axe ready in case I need to break one that I put in the wrong spot. Right. And I should still have my pickaxe here, right? Alright, so I'm going to clear the top of the mountain. This might take longer than I would like when I'm making a video, but... You know, there are people make videos playing DayZ or Ark Survival Evolved, and they're just kind of doing nothing for like three fucking hours in the video, so you know, why can't I do that? You know what, I can't do that because I'm not boring, so I'm just going to go ahead and cheat. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, back to the uh, climbing and how excited I am by that. Not only does this let me actually scale mountains like I just did, but um, think about the potential for building stuff. Building like obstacle courses that you can use to, uh, to use the new climbing mechanic and get all around them. I'm sure I could come up with some really nice designs. And the really cool thing is that I can build them in 2D Minecraft, where gathering and building is really fast, and then play them in virtual reality. Because I don't think that I'm really going to be building anything huge and fancy in virtual reality, because um, it, it's just kind of difficult to get places. I, I'm not really getting this across the right way, because it's actually easier to get places in VR. But it's just, it, it's, it's slow, is the word I'm looking for, it's slow. Because, like, the idea of a video game is that they, they make you faster, stronger, more athletic than you are in real life. And in regular Minecraft, I can just kind of jump around, build stuff with the speed of sound. But in this, I actually have to go to the places 
and do the stuff, and that is just slower. And where is my base? Not that way, I don't have all that stone by my base. Um, it's gotta be this way. I want the door to be facing where I'm climbing up the cliff. And alright, there's those, so... I guess the door can be right here. Excellent. Now these here. Yeah, I'm still not hungry. I guess I guess you don't get hungry and creative. See in vanilla Minecraft I already have this house like almost finished. I'm so fast to building in there, but you know, I play Worm Online and for those who don't know it's a uh, not not really an MMO, but it's like this survival crafting game on the uh, PC. Where everything takes about as long as it would in real life to craft. Like you're building a house, you gotta saw every log, you gotta nail every nail, and it just takes forever to get anything done. And my left controller just died because it's out of batteries. I thought it would last longer than that. Alright, it hopefully will last through the rest of the video. And this is why I have the axe. Get in there. Where'd that come from? This is peaceful. There are no spiders. Where the hell did I get string? I'm looking up like there's a spider god sending down string. So where does shit ever? Alright. This house is kind of a little bit small, I think, but, you know, for the top of a mountain, it's all right. I might eventually, uh, ch shit. I might eventually, uh, change it into, like, a big tower. And I forgot to put birch here. And the controller just turned off again. And I am running on, like, really limited time here. With the, uh, batteries. I really would like to get this done, though. The game actually seems to be running. And now I just... I guarantee you I just jinxed myself by saying that I was going to stop running again, like, immediately. Alright. I'm going to keep building this. There's, uh, random people talking outside of my apartment, which is annoying. I wish I could, like, just put on a, uh, black suit with, like, a hockey mask and just go out with one of those fully automatic Nerf guns and just, like, annihilate people who are talking loudly outside of my apartment. I've heard people make that same joke with, uh, paintball guns and the like, but I'm not that mean. Nerf is, uh, funny, well... Still getting the point across, and I'm reasonably certain that my left controller is not going to survive the rest of this video. It keeps turning off, and no, I can't do that. Uh. Why did I do that? I could have climbed that. I keep forgetting I have that climbing claw. All right. I'm turning and like, I'm trying to go back the same direction I turn in so I don't get all tangled up in the, uh, the wire. I cannot wait till that wireless thing for the Vive comes out. That's gonna be a huge game changer. Actually be able to move really freely without the wire. But the thing is, I can... I can imagine that this is actually going to make it a little bit more dangerous. Because, like, sometimes I already hit my wall. Even with the wire. And I know from, like, experience now that the wire really helps tell where you are. Because it's, like, pulling from one direction. And you know that's where the computer is. And it just generally keeps you stable. Without that wire, when I'm fighting stuff, I'm going to be running around. I'm going to be dodging and... I'm going right into a wall, I fucking guarantee it, man. Alright. Let's see if we can get this roof done. 
I think that I can just, I, I can do this from down here, yeah. Wait. This controller, I'm imagining it like crawling on the ground with like battery guts hanging out of it, screaming for help. But I'm not giving it any battery help because I'm making a video controller. I'm making a video. You gotta, you gotta hold out just a little bit more controller. You know, the thing is, it keeps turning back on even when it goes off. So if you could just like take the controller willpower that it takes to turn back on and just not turn off in the first place for a little while, that would be great. And what's really funny about all this is I'm wasting more battery by sitting here ranting about it. There we go. Up we go. Come on, controller. Come on, controller. You're doing good. You're doing good, controller. We're almost done here. I'm not going to bother putting the uh, fancy roof on it right now. Because controller is really on its last legs. So I'm going to go over here. Destroy this. Climb back down. Alright, now, I don't have anything to make torches. I could make uh, charcoal. Yeah, I got what I need to get a door on it, so, uh, yeah, I am going to make a door, I guess. Even though there's not really any enemies, I like doors. Things, they have like three of these crafting tables laying around that I could use, but, um, I'm lazy and not going to get one, so I'm just... Making another one. It's new that it makes three doors at one time. Alright. Almost done, controller. You can do it. And door. And inside. And close. And yay, I'm home! Alright, so next I gotta put a uh, fancy roof on here. Get my uh, supplies from that shed down there, which isn't really anything, but get it up here, and then I'm on this mountain, and I gotta build some cool climby stuff, and, oh yeah, I was gonna show you the, uh, I don't know if the controller's gonna last for it, but I was gonna show you what I'm using these posts for down here, where's my claw, oh god, I can't tell you how much I love this climbing, Oh, that is excellent. But, um, I was using the... Ah, uh, come on. We're almost done, controller. I keep saying that, I know, but really, we are almost done now. Turn on. Be good. Two more minutes, controller. Come on. Alright. So, I've been using these posts for, uh, climbing practice. Just kind of basic level when I was testing it out. But, uh, what's really cool is when you climb up... So I'm trying to jump to another ledge. You can hold on with this hand. And then I cannot quite reach with this hand. It's still like another foot, foot and a half away. But you can pull in and jump that way. And, and I missed. Which is what the point of these things are. And everything just turned off again. <sighs> so I've been using those posts as climb. In fact, I was trying to jump between them, get it done. So when I'm actually doing it, like above lava or with a bunch of enemies they get it right so anyway that's about it for virtual reality in minecraft right now and i'm probably not going to be making another video in here until whatever this problem is gets started out because it is exceedingly annoying so time to charge my controllers and i'm glad i at least got my house done so thanks for watching
have a good night. End video.